Are these Maybelline matte lipsticks really worth all the hype? Hey everyone, I'm Coral and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you a review of these Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lipsticks. I'm someone who has just recently gotten into wearing lipsticks before I wore lipstick maybe like twice a year. It was like not at all. Sometimes I wore lip balm, but most of the time it was just bare lips. And I will be honest, I am a chapstick addict. And so most of the time I would just rather wear chapstick than wear lipstick. Recently I've gotten into wearing lipstick more, especially with filming with this channel. It looks a lot better on camera than just plain lips. And I've started branching out and trying different things. My friend recommended this lipstick to me on a trip that we took together and I decided to give it a try because I have been trying lipsticks a little bit more recently. I've also seen a lot of hype around these lipsticks online and so I decided to give them a try. I'm going to share with you the pros, the cons, swatches of the different lipsticks that I have and my overall impressions. That way you can decide if this lipstick is worth the hype and if it's something that you'd like to try. Let's start with the pros. The first pro is that it is highly pigmented color. What that means is that when you put the color on your lips, it's very strong and you can see it very well. It's not sheer, so a lot of things that I've tried in the past have been very sheer. You put them on your lips and it gives you just a little bit of color. The color in this stuff is super pigmented. It's very bright and a lot of them are very bold. The color that I have on my lips right now is one of these lipsticks. So it's a bright color that stands out. It looks good on camera and it also looks good in real life. The next pro is that it's easy to apply. Like I said, I've only just recently gotten into lipsticks, so I don't have a lot of experience <laughs> with lipstick. I was a little bit nervous when I first tried this lipstick for the first time because the color is so pigmented and bold. I was a little bit worried that I was going to mess it up and ruin my makeup, and if I had to take it off because I ruined it, I was worried that I would mess up the rest of my makeup on my face. That wasn't the case. This lipstick is super easy to apply. It does have a lip gloss type applicator but it's in an arrow shape that arrow shape makes applying the lipstick really precise and easy so that applicator gives you a nice clean line and overall is really easy to apply it's easy to get into the corners and not make a mess and it's easy to apply across both of your lips it's also very creamy and so that makes it easy to apply. It kind of has a liquid mousse type consistency and since it's nice and creamy, it makes it easy to apply and it's easy to cover all of your lip. It doesn't take a lot of product to cover your lips. The next pro, and this is the most appealing one to me, is that it lasts a long time. Maybelline boasts that this lipstick lasts 16 hours. Now, I don't know if I've ever worn it for 16 hours straight. I probably have because I wear this lipstick all the time but I know I have definitely worn it for at least 12 hours and that it has stayed on really nicely this is a great feature for me because I love that I can put it on in the morning and I can go off and do whatever I need to and I don't have to be worried that it is going to come off or look bad and some other liquid lipsticks sometimes when you start eating or drinking and doing stuff it'll just start completely coming off and then it'll be half on and half off and that also looks bad this doesn't come off when you eat it does doesn't come off when you drink. It stays on. This stuff is stuck on my lips. I drink a ton of water throughout the day, so I'm not worried about it coming off. I'm not worried about it coming off when I'm eating. I'm not worried about it coming off at all. I know that I can stick this stuff on my lips and it will stay. One of the best examples that prove the staying power of this lipstick for me is that last week we went to this big boating party. We were out in the hot, hot, sun and humid heat for hours and in the pool and on a boat and this stuff stayed put. I had this color on that day and people were complimenting me about how great it looked and couldn't believe that hour after hour it was still on my lips. I have been using this lipstick for a long time so I knew I could confidently put this on and wear it on the boat and in the pool and wouldn't have to worry about it coming off and looking bad. So when I say that this stuff stays on, it does. The next pro is that it doesn't transfer. So this goes along with the last one about it staying on for a long time, but it's not gonna transfer to your clothes. If I 
because my hand here, there is nothing there. That's also big for my husband because then he knows he's not going to get lipstick on him if I kiss him. Does it make marks or leave a lip imprint on cups or anything that you're drinking out of? Now, a little bit does come off sometimes on like my coffee cups or my big water bottle that I drink out of, but it doesn't affect the way that it looks. And it's not a total transfer. It's just like a couple little pieces here and there. To me, that means it does. it's not transferring if it's not taking off a whole bunch of it. And it's still staying on and looking good on my lips, even though a little tiny bit might come off. My last pro is that this lipstick doesn't make your lips feel too dry. A lot of matte lipsticks are going to dry out your lips. They're going to suck out the moisture. And it is going to be really uncomfortable. They are a little drying, but it is not so much that I feel uncomfortable. Like I said before, I am a chapstick addict. You can ask my friends, you can ask my husband, I am obsessed. When I put this lipstick on, I don't have to put on chapstick. That's huge for me. I'm not feeling like I need to put on chapstick all of the time because it is not drying out my lips. They do feel a little bit more dry, but they don't feel so dry that I feel the need to slather on a bunch of chapstick. So that's another huge plus for me. Now let's talk about the cons. One con is that some of the shades, I have noticed that they flake a little bit as they wear. What I mean by this is that little flakes might start coming off. There are a couple of shades that I will talk about when I do the swatches that just as I look at my lips and check in on the color throughout the day, some of them do tend to look a little bit patchy, like some pieces have flaked off. This could be different for different people. There's just a couple of shades that I have that seem to do this more than the others. And like I said, I will talk about that in the next section with the swatches. The next con is that sometimes it can feel tacky. So what I mean by this is that the lip color can sometimes feel like it's not completely dry and it's still a little bit wet. I've seen some complaints from this on other reviews that I was looking at and there are a couple of colors that seem to do this a little bit more often for me. So I've noticed that if I glob a whole bunch of the color on it will feel more tacky and take longer to dry this color that I'm wearing seems to take longer to dry than the other ones and my lips will feel still wet and they'll like stick together a little bit even like let's say five minutes after I put it on but after a while it does dry more and more and then I don't get that feeling later on throughout the day but for some people it does seem to bother them because it feels like their lips are still sticking together or it's still wet so my biggest advice is one don't put too much on and two give it good time to dry like I said this one feels a little bit tacky for longer sometimes this one can feel tacky for like 20 minutes after I put it on but as long as I give it ample time to dry it starts to feel a lot better as I continue to wear it the next con is that lip lines can start to show after a while of wearing the lipstick because this is a matte lipstick it's a lot more dry dry than other lipsticks and that can show some lip lines on people it does happen to me if I look up really close after I've been wearing this for a while I can definitely see the lines on my lips it's not enough to bother me for some people it may be too, too much you might not like that a way that I try to combat this just a little bit I don't do it too often but if it looks super dry and I can see the lines I will find like a lip balm or a gloss that is similar in color to the lipstick and just kind of apply a little bit more in the middle to kind of bring a little bit more moisture back to my lips be careful with that because sometimes if you put too much or glob too much on there it can take off the lipstick be aware of it and if that's something that's going to bother you this might not be the lipstick for you the last con that I have for this lipstick is that it is hard to get off now that can be a good thing because like I said this stuff stays on all day long when I get to the end of the night and I am taking off my makeup and washing off my face I have got to work to get this stuff off. So that can be a con. I use just regular makeup wipes to get all of the makeup off my face and that does not work on this lipstick. Now my mom said she doesn't have a problem with it. I got her into this lipstick as well and she said she can get hers off with her makeup wipes but I cannot. 
For the longest time, I was using a small little like eyes, lips, and face liquid makeup remover that I put on a cotton ball, and I think it was like an oil-based one. I have another makeup remover that's not oil-based and will not touch this stuff. I know that a lot of other people use my cellar water to get it off. And then another option is that Maybelline actually sells this Super Stay Eraser. This is a remover for their Super Stay lipsticks. It kind of looks like a clear chapstick and then you just kind of lather it all over the top of your lipstick and you use like a tissue or toilet paper to wipe it off. I like this and I've been using this a lot recently. I would say that the oil-based makeup remover probably works the best to get it off. It's just that if you are trying to get it off without taking off the rest of your makeup, that can be a problem. So if it's at night and you're taking off all of your makeup, it's not a big deal. But when I use that and put it on a cotton ball, it takes the makeup off all the way around my lips, all over my face. So if you need to take it off without taking off the rest of your makeup, something like this is a really good option. Or you can use an oil-based makeup remover or the micellar water. Now let's get into the swatches. I'm going to show you a swatch on my wrist of all of the different colors and also on my lips. For the five different colors that I have, I'm gonna go from lightest to darkest. The first one is Loyalist. This is a very light nude peachy pink. I bought this one because I was looking for something that would look a little bit more natural and like my regular lips, something that would not look like I had a ton of makeup on. It is lighter than my natural lip color. And this is one of the ones that I did notice it's starting to flake off after several hours of wearing it. I've only worn it a couple of times because it is so light but it's a nice no makeup makeup look or if you're looking for something very nude and neutral the next color is dreamer this is a baby pink with a hint of mauve for the longest time this one was my absolute favorite color I've worn it in a ton of my videos and I always loved the way that it looked and complemented my makeup and my skin tone this is a great spring color I loved it in the springtime bringing out the light bright colors after the darker colors of the winter months. This is definitely one of my favorite colors that I have. The next color is Lover. This is probably one of the most popular colors that I've seen people looking for online. It is a dark pink that kind of edges towards a purplish tone. In my opinion, it looks really good and flattering on everyone. This is the very first color that I bought. It's the color that my friend recommended. It's the color that I usually recommend to people who are asking about it. I get tons of compliments on this color and it looks great with lots of different outfits. The next color is Seductress. This is a dark nude with a pink tone. So it is a much darker nude than the Loyalist. This one blends in a lot more with my natural lip color, but just a little bit darker than my natural lip color. I've had this one for the least amount of time and I've only used it once. It did look really good on my skin tone. My husband likes this one the best because he likes nude colors on my lips. I did have this color recommended to me by a friend and it also looked really good on her. This is the other one that flaked a little bit on me after I had been wearing it for a long time. So that's interesting that both of the nude colors that I have are the ones that flaked on me. I'll definitely be giving this more of a try. I'm not going to not use it, but I did notice the flaking with this one. And the last color is Self Starter. This is the color that I have on today. It's an orangey red. I think it's a great summertime red. I have never really tried a red lipstick before. This is the closest I've ever been to a red. I love the way that it pops. Every time I've worn this lipstick so far, I've gotten several compliments on it. It looks really good and is complimentary towards a lot of different outfits that I have. So this one is my favorite right now. Now let's talk about my overall impression. 
This lipstick has transformed me from a lipstick hater to a lipstick lover. Before I tried this lipstick, I barely wore lipstick at all, except if I was filming or going out to do something special. But now that I have tried this lipstick, I wear it all the time. I wear it every day that I do makeup. I pick one of these lipsticks and I even love it so much that I wore it to a boating party. That was the only makeup I wore that day. So it has definitely changed my perspective on lipstick. I love that it lasts a long time and I don't have to worry about it getting messed up. I can put it on at the beginning of the day and I know it is gonna last and it is gonna look good until the end of the day and then I'm not going to have to reapply. It also looks really good. Every time I wear this lipstick, I get compliments about how it looks and how my makeup looks. It just kind of completes the whole look for me. So I love the way that all of these colors look. Overall, I'm gonna say that this lipstick is totally worth the hype. It looks great, it stays on a long time, and it's not too expensive. All of these lipsticks you can get from around seven to nine dollars based on where you buy them from. So for that price, this stuff is absolutely incredible. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope it helps you decide if these Maybelline Superstay Matte Lipsticks are right for you. Just for watching today's video, I have a special free guide, my must-have makeup products. Just click on the first link down in the description below and that will take you to a page where I ask for your name and email address. Just pop in your name and email, that way I know where to send it. If you did enjoy today's video, do me a favor and give me a thumbs up down below. Also, comment below and let me know, would you give these Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lipsticks a try? If you haven't already, click that subscribe button and hit the bell, that way you never miss a video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.